What's up, gang? We are fishing down. I'm fishing with Mr. Peter, who is right next to me. Well, he's not right next to me because of social distancing and all that. Japanese. But just there. Um, here's my kit. I've got a new toy. Nice little new shell tar. Big loo. Not it's not a big loo. It's an igloo. But I don't care, man. I don't care. Big enough for me. He's bigger than the other dude I had. I'm just hanging out and just thought I'd say hi before I get the re the phew, the raws on. I'm hoping tonight's not gonna be a white infest, man. We'll see. All right, let me get these rods set up and get some stuff out. So I'm getting ready to chuck out the first rod, six and bait. I had braid on this one, but I've taken it off and I've gone back to mono on it. I'm starting off tonight with the live bait rig dude boom live bait rig basically it's a little number two hook there and a big 5-0 there so hopefully little fish on this guy then big fish comes takes a little fish and the big hook that's what we're hoping for man Ooh, we can hope we we can hope it's gonna happen man i know it is tonight Boof. all right finally got both rods out what i don't know what's going on with my fishing luck here man first cast crack off and come to find out i've only got one tapered leader left so yeah that kind of sucks but I'm just gonna take it easy got to fish out both rods out so here's the reel. I've got 18 pound Rovex mono on the six and bait. And there is 24 pound whiplash braid on the century. We're gonna see what does better. Well, maybe a little bit later because I've got a live bait rig on the rod with the mono on and a two hook Portsmouth loop rig on Century. So, fingers crossed, man, that we get some fish. It's meant to snow tonight, so. We'll be uh, testing out the Ian's Gold Igloo seriously now. Here's what I got. This is what we're doing for bait here, man. We got trusty old ragworm. I've got some squid, mackerel, ham sandwich. That's not bait. <laughs> This my this my little, uh, lunch dinner snack something so yeah we're not using the ham sandwich actually if it comes down to it and we're not getting anything I might stick a piece <laughs> piece of ham on and, <laughs> and see what happens with that that would be freaking sweet so all right all right I'll let you go in, in a minute and uh, yeah hopefully we can get some fish on man here it come. It's the white in. So, white are coming. What I'm hoping now is on the live bait rig, there's a small one of these. Then you get a big fish come, bang! I hope. Fingers crossed, man. Gosh. And I think in the air, a little bit of snow. Never fished in the snow before, but first time for everything. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's a white in, but it's a fish and it's not a blank. Bam! All right, I'm thinking on the six and bait that I've got the live rig on. I'm gonna take the live rig off, and I'm gonna stick on the what you call it. Uh, where'd it go? Bag no bar, man. I'm feeling a ray or a big bass or something, and I'm gonna use a macro head. I've got these Joey mackerel. These bad boys are perfect for it. Absolutely perfect. They're the perfect size. Love it. So what I'll do to get this ready is I'll take the fillet off. Just like so. These are perfect size fillets as well. These are Joey mackerels. Perfect. Look at that. Boom. Take the other side, then I'll take this bit, 
cut it there and I'll stick that bad boy out and basically I'll take my rig this has got a number two semicircle hook and I'll take my macro head and take it the hook on the back at the top there like that Bring that mamma jammer through. Boom. Like so. Then it's proud up there, like that. Then I'll take my cotton, then I'll just secure the hook onto that bait, like that. Take it up the line a little bit. Because this isn't a panel, just to hold it. So I won't put a lot on, I'll just use it to hold it. But it will. Put enough around the hook. A little shank of the hook. Boom. Boom. That'll go out jamming. Hopefully for a ray. Or a giant bass. Or a cod. And it being on the bagno bar. It'll be floating out there. Because the water's pretty still. Man, that's a four or five foot trace. Bam. Right, so. Totally camera worthy. So yeah, I've just had a, a triple shot on a two hook rig. So there's one hook on my two hook rig. There's my second hook on my two hook rig. And I had a, had a crack off earlier. I've just pulled that in with a fish on it, man. Yes. How awesome is that? So, look at that. Bam. And I got my rig back. <laughs> Bam. That deserves it, man. Oh, that's awesome. Right, let me unhook these dudes and get them, get them back out there, man. Oh, that is so cool. That, that is awesome. It's few and far between right now, man. But, I mean, we're still getting fish. It, it's just whiting. It's just whiting still. But still, it's whiting. It's not a blank. Let's see, I've had one, two, three, four, five whiting and a pow. And a giant knock on my macro head there. Right there. On the six and bait. Just hoping. Hoping for something a bit bigger. Not Pete down there. Pete, the uh, gentleman that I did the verses with, him and Kev, that night. <laughs> it's not raining now, or windy, so we're good. It's chilly. There's no wind. There's no rain. The sea is still. If it was summertime, man, I'd, I'd lure out 100 million percent. Should have lure out right now. I got the live bait rig on. Hasn't taken but five minutes. And there is something on it. So now we sit back and wait, man. Yeah, I keep seeing it. So there is something on it. Hopefully it's small enough. And hopefully something bigger comes along and wants to eat it. I'm gonna pull the six and bait it now as well and squid head isn't making me very happy. Did I say squid head? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Macro head isn't making me very happy. So I'm going, I'm gonna put some squid on. Dude. So the macro head wasn't doing very well. So because I can, I have made a macro and ragworm sausage, anyone? Hopefully. This would be nice and tempting for a fish. A big one. I need a big fish, man. <laughs> I'm meant to be a chisel today. <sighs> it's gonna have to do. Still getting whining, guys. Ah. <laughs> Still getting whining. Trying to get one big enough for a sandwich. And that, that ain't it, man. Gotta fly through the little ones to get 
to the big ones. Let me just get this dude off. God, there's going to be a big fish tonight, man. I'm feeling this. There will. There's going to be. I know it. I tried like almost every trick in the book, man. <sighs> just whiten after whiten after whiten. Whole squid this time. Let's see how it goes. All we can do is but try, isn't it? English barracuda. Look at that guy. Look at the teeth on that sucker. <laughs> it's gotten like I don't it's not slow but it still is anything it's just weird nothing's touching the squid nothing's touching the mackerel so I've got a big old giant like a big old giant Ragworm bait on, dude. Look at that thing. Bam! So we'll see how that one goes. See if we can get anything on the big rod. Something big, man. We just want something big. But, all right, I've got a few worms left. Got about that many worms left. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish those off. I don't think I'm gonna head out home, man. It's been a really good night, but we're not done yet. They're still coming, and they're still tiny. Double shot. <laughs> Ooh, little pout. These things are pretty sweet looking, man. They're feisty as well. Little pout. See right through him. And you guessed it. Mr. White. Last chuck, man. Let's see what we can get. Alright, guys. So. Yeah, it's a pretty good night, man. I mean, it was a consistent stream of fish, whiting and pout, the usual suspects. But that's it, man. I've got last chuck out. I would show you, but I think it's going to be whiting in the end. But yeah, I would say I've had like six pout, maybe eight, nine whiting. Nothing on the big base tonight, man, at all. This is usually big bait place but it wasn't tonight and that's just the way that goes so like i said i've got last chuck out i'm gonna pack up my business and i'm gonna head home and eat my mcdonald's that's waiting i'm hungry <laughs> hey guys if you like this video and you want to see some more videos just like this one well they're not all just like this one well how many different ways can you chuck out a lead but there are some cooler videos. We've got lure videos, kayak videos. If you want to check that stuff out, click the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss nothing, man. All right, guys. Later. I'm out.